uh, which are the prognosis factors in the endometrial uh, cancer? Well, the prognostic factors, uh, endometrial cancer actually is one of the most common uh, female uh, genital tract tumors and uh, one of the best tumors in terms of prognosis. The nice thing is that it becomes discovered early and uh, that's why the diagnosis is early and the prognosis is always good when you discover it early. Age is very important, stage of diagnosis is very important, also the histotype of uh, uh, the endometrial cancer is uh, very important as a, mm, a prognostic factor. Uh, um, overall, uh, um, survival rates with uh, endometrial cancer, especially when diagnosed and treated easily, uh, early, are something like 89%, uh, which is very, very good. Uh, what is the state of the heart uh, of uh, minimally invasive surgery in uh, endometrial uh, cancer? Well, there has been a consensus conference uh, uh, about the use of minimally invasive surgery in treatment, surgical treatment of uh, uh, endometrial cancer in Europe. And uh, the guidelines of the United States all speak about uh, minimally invasive surgery as a gold standard for treatment uh, of uh, endometrial cancer. So either traditional laparoscopy, uh, single port laparoscopy, robotic surgery, and uh, considering minimally invasive surgery not only as an approach but also as a philosophy because uh, minimally invasiveness is not only the small holes that you do but also the conservative approach how you conserve the uh, mm, mm, uterus in uh, early in young patients and how you do some now it's also possible to preserve the ovaries and to do uh, fertility sparing surgery in such cases. So the word minimally invasive is not only the small holes that you do to do surgery, but also philosophically speaking, how you can be less invasive on the, the tissues and the reproductive organs of the woman when it's not an advanced cancer. And uh, of course, uh, if the question is, uh, is there a role for minimally invasive surgery in treatment uh, of endometrial cancer. In 2017, I think the question has to be, is there still a role for traditional surgery in treatment of, uh, of endometrial cancer? Yes or no?